Hello and welcome back to Orwell Chapter 3 Unperson. We're here of returns. No, no, it's all fine, really. You do deserve the credit. At least from me, because you'll never get a public one. Just imagine your name in big letters in that TNB article. This Nina character is the final member of Forts, which we don't have concrete information on. Since she's the one who planned a protest at the Circle Mall and now a bomb has been found there, she is now of special interest to us. Her stance towards law enforcement just gives us one more reason, as she found out yesterday. Focus on Nina, but keep watching all the others too. So yes, the plot thickens. Welcome back to Orwell. We're getting right back into the thick of things. Let's check the headlines as what's happened yesterday. Right, so... Movie release endangered by lawsuit against director. That's more world building. An opinion piece from Harrison. Hmm. So let's get something abundantly clear to begin with. I feel bad. I feel like a fucking... You can't put that in a newspaper over here. You'd get sacked for saying that. You've got Ofcom to take care of. And in last week's... Uh, uh, article... Um, National opinion, that's what it is. I blabbered about how some bombs would soon go off in Bonson or Farview. At that time, just to advertise my point of view. I'm truly sorry for everyone involved or affected by those terrible events. It was never my intention to ridicule or trivialise the attacks. Well, if you've not been living under a rock, or a massive boulder at that, for the last few couple of days, you absolutely must have heard that it's pretty much exactly what went, what went down. It's far beyond, I hate to say it, but I told you so. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That's his, again, this is the TNB. I'm not going to pop that one in where he's talking about how he's advocating for pro-security measures because we know that's not his opinion. It's not relevant. Uh, condemns the bombings, at least. Uh, I mean, it says that, but I might as well put that in, at least. Strange way to sell one's point. It's still peculiar he mentioned bombings before anything happened, but... Yes, about that, it certainly is. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, we don't have anything new new. I mean, there's the party pages, the Carrington family page. We, we can take a look at his bank again. Is anything new in there? There's not, but aha. That's, that's his address, which has now admittedly expired. So I probably should have put that in yesterday, but I didn't think, but never mind. We do, we do know he lives in a trailer. Let's have a look at what's on the listener page. Got another person to Harrison. Hey, I forgot to charge my phone tonight, and yes, so I have to do this the old-fashioned way. I really want to thank you for a very nice evening. I haven't enjoyed myself so much in, well, ever. Only to be topped by that night, that is. I was hoping you'd drop by Triple C and come pick me up tonight. We can cook together, maybe watch something, and who knows, maybe continue where we left off. Funny, I just realised that I've never been to your place, even after all these years we've known each other, so I figured you're hiding another love affair of yours there. Are you? Probably your ex, the one you've been talking about ever so often when I was around. Or this girl that was always yammering about how she despised the safety bill, Nina, I think. Come to think of it, for all that torment, you owe me big time, so I really demand to come your place. Love, Marsa. Marker? Marsa, I'm gonna guess. If you're going to the city centre today, please, pretty, pretty please take care of yourself with the bombs and stuff. Don't stay any longer than necessary. Now, that's all well and good, but if we go to his previous email, uh, he was buying flowers for Angela. So, he's a bit of a playboy, I see. Nina opposes the safety bill. Well, that seems pretty blatant, really. I mean, the game just kind of handed us that one, let's be perfectly honest. Why would someone oppose the safety bill? We have the lowest crime rate in years, or possibly ever. You and me have a job thanks to the bill. The only reason to not support it is if you have a dirty past. With a situation as heated as it is, this sounds like someone we should have a very close look at. We need a full examination. First, a concrete background. Who is she? Second, what motivates her and what does she want? And finally, where was she around the time of the bombings? That, that's all fairly standard investigatory procedure, I suppose. Hey, a new fault article has just appeared. War on indifference. 
be a difference towards their own rights is a worse enemy than the government itself. We thinks we're in a state of war, apparently, against the government. The declaration of war is the safety bill, the only gain of which is reinforcing the chokehold the party has on us. With this bill, they are screwing every single citizen of the country. Uh, move on a crowded circle mall. Yeah, we got that right, at least. Um, apparently, Nina intended to scare visitors. Hmm. Scaring people to get attention to one's message is that's really what thought is about. Uh, I will say, as we are proceeding through the game, there are actually four or five possible different endings you can get. I have got all of them. I'm not entirely sure which one we're going for at the moment. At this moment in time, it is still fairly open as to which way it could go regarding to the different endings which it is possible to get. When we get to the end, I will discuss all the various ones we could have gotten following whichever one it is we get, but I will tell you now that all of them aside from one are pretty much bad endings, so we'll see what happens. Scaring people is convincing them. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Let's just follow your argumentation for a moment. What did you achieve? You just upset innocent bystanders in a time when they're already deeply unsettled. Violence cannot be the key, and thought shall not be uh, stand shall not stand for that. So he's against violence. Yeah, that's fair enough. Hmm. There was no violence. No one was hurt. We got a little bit carried away by the euphoria, getting the message out there. We didn't think straight for a moment. Well, at least he's apologising for it. We'll bob that in. Oh, thanks for stabbing me in the back, and I needed you the most, Harry. Yeah, afterwards they're clever, and they feel sorry about their actions. It's always the same. Not the right place for discussion of his magnitude. A word about it is our next meeting. Hmm. Yeah, it, this is a bizarre game. It really is. Not... I mean, how do I put it? Like, because this game is of, it's half visual novel, half point and click, it's a weird merging of the two, which is quite bizarre, but I do enjoy it. Like I said, this is one of my favorite games. It's, actually, as I hope it's coming across. I'd like the art style with the weird stained glass windows and the surreal um, polygon shapes. I quite enjoy the music is good, which we're hearing now, each theme, each, each theme. Each day has got a different theme tune as well. I mean, the overall theme tune of the game is cool, and I quite like it. And I enjoy mystery games and point and click. The constant twists and turns from when this came out. Like, I can't get across just how much this game hooked us in when it first came out because only the first chapter was available and it released episodically and people lost their damn minds theorizing myself included i was very not involved in the discussions you know that meme of the guy from i think it's always sunny in philadelphia um i haven't seen it so i don't know but where he's indicating a massive board on the wall of all the red wires connecting everything together that was me playing this when this game came out and honestly it, it still hooks me in even though I know the story I know what's coming I know all the different, po different possible outcomes having played this it still hooks me in and I forget about it and I get engrossed in it all over again it's such a phenomenally well written game it's so so good oh hey kiddo you're absolutely fucking uh, fucking lootly right mate one could rightly call this that e I can't even fucking read. That evening, mind blowing. I mean, in my defence, it is currently about twenty past one in the morning as I am playing this. But <clears throat> there we are. Less said about that, the better. Um, and speaking of Orwellian surveillance, actually, my Duolingo is screaming at me to take my lesson uh, for the day because I haven't done it yet. And of course, I'll pick you up tonight. I like this continue you are talking of, and I think I'm in need of it big time. But let's not stay at my place tonight. It's utterly unfit for a lady like yourself. No love is hidden there, only not-so-hidden leftovers and laundry. Yeah, that's too relatable. Especially not Juliet. I haven't heard anything of that bitch in months. I'm done with her because I'm with you now, my marker, pinky swear. And Nina, anything will set me off angry outbursts, Nina. Don't get me started on her. She was my partner in crime a while ago, so to speak. That's it. Okay. So he doesn't intend to be home on Saturday. That's interesting. Is that what day it is? 
uh, April 15th. Um, severe weather warning, and it's going to be heavy wind and flash flood rain. I mean, that's sort of kind of like the weather in the real world, really. Uh, hmm, okay. Uh, she's, he's done with Juliet. I mean, we kind of knew that anyway. They were not in a relationship. Angry outburst, Nina. Hm. Juliet and Harrison were together. That one's news to me. We told you about it in the last chapter, you knobhead. We literally said, we uploaded a data chunk that said, like, form a relationship. Whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. It seems to be over now. Uh... Anything will set me off angry outburst, Nina. Oh dear. So we'll upload that one in. I mean, there's got to be a reason why she's angry, surely. Enraged outbursts. Interesting. Keep looking for a reason behind this. Partnering crime, as it were. I mean, we know that's a euphemism, but... Partners in crime? Okay, what crap exactly? Orwell doesn't have the context, it doesn't understand, it's a euphemism, so he's responding to it directly as if it's actually true. Which is distressing. Um, but we'll carry on. So we don't have any more mail to look at. Uh, there's got to be something. Something in one of these articles somewhere. We will, we will find it. Uh, let's take a look at the Fort blog again. Is there anything in here? No, I can't, okay, no, I can't click on her thing. That one is archived. Is there anything in entry? Aha! There we go. That's got her page. There we go. Got you. Got your Facebook uh, no, like messenger thing. Bingo. That's got you. Hey, Sylv. Sylvia, I'm guessing. Hey, Nina. Just wanted to ask if everything is fine? Come on, type faster. Yeah, don't worry. We're having a great time. Thanks for taking care, even though it's a Saturday. Oh, yeah, don't mention it. Want to look after a pets or something? How are you feeling? Still shitty. <laughs> yeah, understandable. Nina, I hate to say it, so don't hold it against me, okay? No, I'm fine. Come on, type faster. I hate the fact that they type in real time. No, you're not. You're worrying me. You always look so sad. Nothing to worry about. Anything new on the love front? No. Could be relevant to find out what she's sad about. Nothing new on the love front, only idiots on this singular portal thing that you recommended, Sylv. Okay, let's add that in, that's another website for her we can investigate. I don't know how you got to find John amongst so much crap. I'm gonna remove the account. Yeah, it's 99% fools, but just keep it tight, someone will come to the rescue. No thanks, I can rescue myself. Gotta work now. Okie dokie. Call you later. See you, girl, and cheer up. <laughs> I mean, based on my own experience of using things like Grinder and Tinder and things, yeah, it is 99% a load of bollocks. Singular. Okay. Continue to profile. Oh, we have a picture of her at last. So this is who Nina is. Von Bonten slash Farview. October 1985, so she's in her 40s. Uh, do, 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 do. Hiking, climbing, likes Asian food, likes the Beatles. Yeah, can't knock that. Uh, candlelit dinners, <laughs> she does not like. Um, that face is familiar. Just saying that face is familiar. We'll come back to that in a minute. <laughs> I don't know if you've been paying attention over the last couple of episodes, but yes, we'll come back to him. He was briefly in one of the... I think it was last week's episode, actually. Uh, looking for financial stability. Yeah, that's relatable. I can um, <laughs> appreciate that I am myself. You know, who doesn't need a little bit of reliability in their lives? Is she striving to find that stability of her own accord? Any reason why she craves stability? This is quite intimate, how much we're looking into this person, I have to say. Like, we didn't go with this much in depth with Harrison or Juliet. 
In the end, it all comes down to the degree of interest and the ideology. In politics, that is. I mean, yes, that's a fair point. Yeah, cat or a dog person. Dog. I'll allow it. <laughs> Righty ho. Conversations. Uh, did you do? Not interested in that one. The guy called it Super Randy. Yeah, it's him again. Anyway, <laughs> don't recall anyone calling me Blondie, and I am an 80s kid. Now I get why you're over 30 and still see oh, Jesus. Um. By oh, she's using an alias. Molly Schwartz. She's using a fake name and a peculiar one at that. Or is Molly her fake name and Nina is her real name? Hmm, it could be one or the other, we're not sure at the moment. Uh, she does temp work. And she has a son. That's fair. Maybe she's a single mum. Makes sense. Yeah, single mother. Mm. Doesn't like seem to be the type to be involved with <clears throat> forest attacks. Ah, just reading the conversation, she mentions that she's got, she's single and has a son, and he closed the conversation. That's just rude. You don't do that to a lady. Uh, Molly Schwartz. Okay, here we go. Maintenance, mechanical repairs, and all that sort of stuff. Do 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 do. That's. A conflict and not her possible address, uh, real address, we'll leave that. But we'll upload her email, we'll come back to the address. Willing to work anytime, so she's available, works long hours. Look at us working on the weekend. I get it, it's different of course when you're a single mother, it must be tough, I can imagine. Just as the Prime Minister leaves, the weather's getting shittier. Ah, it's started to rain now. The uh, storm which the weather report was talking about is coming in. It's actually acknowledged it. That's quite nice. I like that. Uh, let's have a look. What else is on this work easy page? Uh, that's about it, isn't it, actually? Right, we'll go back to the... Uh, what else is on here? Oh, it, it's talking about that, isn't it? Well, let's take a look at the emails, see what else is coming in. Miss Matanova, Nina Matanova is her name. Okay. On the half of Dr. White's, your last visit our office, a blood sample was taken, sent to the central hospital. Results are in. We have her medical reports. That could be very handy. Okay, let's take a look at the reader tool. I'm assuming that ha yep. So, Molly Schwartz is a fake name, Nina is her real name. Ah ha ha! So it's putting that as Bonton Road Fairview, but I think that the address on her like medical report is more likely to be the accurate one because also it's calling her by what actually is her real name, as opposed to Molly Schwartz in inverted commas, which is on the workplace page. So I'm going to upload that one as being her address. Address is always helpful. Complains about pain throughout the left thigh and upper leg. Describes the pain as searing, burning, sometimes bursting. Leg feels numb at times. Occur whenever the leg is stressed. Asked the patient regarding the healed wound on upper leg and no medical record existed in the database. Gave no clear statement about the wound origin. Visual examination revealed well, that her X ways. On medical leave until for strict rest until the end of April 2017. But we know she is currently working. We'll upload that at least. Has a has a leg injury. Info might come in handy. Uh, we can go through her medical database a little bit more. Let's see what else is in here. Permanent unrest and inability to sleep properly. Oh, that is absolutely fucking relatable. I am a massive insomniac. I go through phases of being able to sleep a lot or not at all. Like, 
Last night I maybe got about four and a half hours sleep, but literally four days ago prior to that I got about 15 hours sleep and I slept through most of the day, so go figure. It just comes and goes in cycles and phases and waves and I don't know why my circadian rhythm, I think is the correct term, is completely out of balance and I don't know how to fix it. Hypervigilance is close to feelings of paranoia, but it's not always the same. So, uh, duration of symptoms... Yeah, it's been suffering from that and hypervigilance for the past several years. It's... One... What must have happened back there? must be really bad. I was about to say, she must have PTSD and that's their diagnosis. Yeah. That was my next thought. Sounds menacing. An important finding. I wonder what might have caused it. Mm, trauma of some kind. An incident. Uh, oh, there's a phone call going on. We should probably have picked this up sooner, but the phone calls wait until you click on them, so you don't have to. It's fine. Welcome to Rosentech. You're calling outside of our office hours. Please... Hey, little jewel bug. June, it's so great to hear from you. Yeah, you too. That's why I called. It was about time June and jewel bug had their annual sisterly chat. Super right. How did you know I was working today? Yeah, when aren't you working? Ah, oh, sorry, I forgot for a second you actually know me. Feeling stressed? Boss causing trouble? I can call you back later. Oh, no, no, no. Hanging around in the office is just a good excuse, you know, not to be at home. I see. I never got why you moved back in the first place. I suppose that she was working on the weekend. That's interesting. Why is she working on a Saturday? At an office job. Hmm. I had to leave my student apartment, you know that. Yeah, mine was absolutely awful too. And you know it's a lame excuse. You earn good money at Rosentech. You could rent any flat, you just don't want to. Ah, <sighs> you're not gonna relent. Nope, sorry. I had a pretty rough start into this year. Couldn't really stand being alone at the time. I'm guessing that was her breaking up with Harrison, possibly. Feel much better now, but mum and dad, they're happy I'm back. Yeah, especially because she ended her relationship. You don't want to disappoint your parents. I can't do that again. And here I was thinking Juliet had finally reached a state of emancipation. Hey, I have. No, you haven't. You're letting yourself be hassled by mum and dad again. I mean, based on the conversation we had with her mum the other day, that's fair enough, yeah. Sometimes it happens, even in really close families. Jewelbug, it's still strangely nostalgic that you say that. Remember how I made that up for you? Yeah, I was so envious when Dad called you his Junebug and he didn't have any nickname for me. And rightly so. Don't give in to Dad. He's give him a good fight, okay? I will, believe me. Goody, so I figured I'll leave you to work then. Yeah, office is empty, but my to-do list is long. Okay, let's talk another time. I will call you again. Do not try to reach me. Just kidding. June? Yeah? Thanks for believing in me. Oh, look at you, sounding so serious. That's what a big sis is there for, right? I guess so. See you later. I'm going to upload that as a nickname, just because it's funny. Droolbug. What kind of weird nickname is that? What sort of cheese was that? Uh, Prime Minister Council surprise meeting for visit in Trifliff. So, uh, investigators of a catastrophe. Right, so what are we missing? What are we missing? Okay, so there is, must be... Ah, that's what it... I forgot to click this. Recent jobs and employer feedback. Uh, she was working April 13th, 2017, was groundskeeping, 5 out of 5 stars. Cleaning groundskeeping on the 12th, reliable and hard worker, would hire again. She's been ordered to be off work. And then there's that one, employed on April 11th, 2017, pretty much saved us when a critical employee went home sick and was understaffed. That, it, what's the conflict there? Medical leave with strict rest. Ah. But we know she has been working for the past several days. So, oh, wrong profile. So even though she's ordered to be on medical leave, we're going to pop those in because we know she's been working. That's two days ago. I'm pointing at the screen, you can't see it. So she was working a lot over the week. Does that account for or against her ability of having committed the bombings? I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I just pointed at the screen there. That was two days ago. So we know she's still working when she shouldn't be. Session with... In oh, initiate of a hacker. Knock, knock. Eh? Yeah. How do you make a question mark noise? You've got to ask who's there. Not in the mood for knock, knock jokes. Yeah, you and me both. Oh, you blew it. Cut the crap. 
who are you supposed to be? So now you can ask. Initiate is the name. Do I know you? Well, she's in contact with Initiate as well as Harrison is. So let's put that up. It's Initiate again. I wonder what his or her role in this is. Mm. Now here we go. Feel free to investigate the hacker as well. We keep to focus on Miss Matanova for now. Oh, not again. You're from Singular, right? Don't care how you got my number. Just leave me alone. No, no, that's not where I'm from. Oh, she's blocked him. Oh, he's a hacker. You're not going to get around it that easily. No, 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 you can't block Initiate out like that, sweetie. Buzz the fuck off. Quack. <laughs> We've all made that typo before, come on. You should listen to me just for the moment, all right? Then I'm gone. Poof. I don't care what you have to say. And we've all probably experienced a person like this too. See, I know about your little band of troublemakers, and I really dig it. The girl needs a kick where the sun don't shine. That's all right with me. But bombing people, that's plain wrong. I mean, yeah, it is. Bullshit. How come you think that was one of us? Let's just say I've been watching you all for some time. Because that's not ominous at all. I mean, we're doing that as well. So who am I to talk in this situation? <clears throat> the bonds and bombs hit places where your outlaw posse has been to in the past. No way you didn't even hear about that. Even the cops seem to have found at least something. They know where to look for the last bomb. He types like a 12-year-old from 20 years ago. God, I used to type like that. So get on texts. So give me a reason to, you know, like put that consciousness of mine at ease. I'd like to help you, not turn you in. How dare you friend me? You've got nothing. Yo, Lander, be cool. I said I want to help, not threaten you. No, at least she's not trying to block him, because I suppose she knows she can't. I show you can be trusted. I'm going to hack the precious page of the party and upload a special something. I could warn them about this. I could actually warn them. I'm not going to. I'm going to let it happen. It's going to be easy with those party guys who are being lazy bones, as long as they don't see it coming in the next few secs. But then you'll answer my questions, okay? Don't care about your shit. Wait, wait, give me a sec while I get to work. Don't go away. Stay tuned, folks. If I could get away from you, I would. Can't switch my phone off now. That's a nice looking firewall you have there, dear party web team. It would be a shame if someone were to just bypass it. For God's sake. Could you actually shut up? I mean, he's, he's, he must have multiple keyboards to be able to type and do that at the same time. Doing this still gives me a chills and I need to distract myself somehow, so almost done. Yeah, I could warn them, but I'm not going to just because it's funny. Just a second longer. And done. Let's go take a look. And there it is. <laughs> Queen of Bullshit. The Ministry of Bullshit, dedicated to the purpose of power-mongering and bullying people, was formed as quickly as possible after the elections. Just as anyone sane would have anticipated, she is the most hated for the inception of the Bullshit Bingo, in which Miss Delacroix always wins due to the high density of bullshit in her own speeches. Miss Delacroix was subsequently granted the title of the Queen of Bullshit. <laughs> Delacroix has never been prettier. Wait, I have to look at this. Oh, this is gold. Okay, so can we have a talk now? If you must, make it quick and quit poking around in my life. You said you were not involved in the assaults. I'm not. Okay. Do you think it's someone else in Fort? This band of misfits? Never. Harrison is the only guy I could remotely imagine doing anything like that. Harrison had an interest in Cassandra because she could access the big money through her parents' company. Uh, ho, 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 okay. Juliet was a bit shy, but damn good at organising stuff. I explain the trouble in the Watergate's books, I see. It's the government be themselves behind the bombings. Conspiracy theory. Or is it? I don't know. First Miss Hacker is suspecting him and now her. What do they know that we don't? I thought about that. Did you know that since 2011 all the electronic devices must have unique IDs? They look like this, and it's not even secure. That looks like the code labelled on my PC. Oh, that's because it is. Oh, what? Don't worry, I've only accessed the number remotely. Nothing more. You deserve some privacy. 
well, we know it now, so we're going to exploit that. Since you've pulled that hack, I'm willing to believe you, for now. Can you use your skills to find out if it's the Gov's work, what they're up to? If we had blocked the hacking attempt and warned them through Orwell, she wouldn't be responding to this conversation anymore. Again, dynamic storytelling, it's great. Of course, my word is good, I'll get to the bottom of this. You just do whatever you do and keep cool. Gotta go now. Right, see you soon. Okay, but stop calling me sweetie. So, Juliet is very good at organising things. I'll just quickly put that in. Bob that in there. Comme ça. And... Do, 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 do. She thinks the government is behind it. <clears throat> oh, what a joke. Of course the government will bomb bombs into bits. Justify surveillance, right? I've heard that a million times by now. Every time something happens, there is nothing to these conspiracy theories. But now we've got her PC code. I'm going to bob that in. Because that should unlock a new tool for us. Oh, very good. You found a device UID. Every device in the nation has one in accordance with the safety bill. Hmm, I'm sure. We can use the insider tool, as that one there, to connect and see what a user has on their device. Device must be running and have an online connection in order for you to access it. Okay, have they fixed a website yet? No, they haven't. <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> Harrison's posting on his timeline again. He's posting it uh, that he's writing for the TNB on his timeline. Uh, ba -ba -bum. And his friends are upset about him because, you know, uh, doing it because you know, he's supposedly a punky guy. Right, so let's look in Nina's PC. What's in her bin? A lot of stuff, actually. We'll come back to that in a minute. System files, a browser history. Oh, she looked for CCTV. That's... Hmm... Odd thing to search for when you don't have something sinister in mind. This vaguely associates Nina with this Stelligan assault at the university. If we can associate with the two other sites, well, not big for a very compelling case indeed. Uh, work easy, bonds and maps. I guess that's how she knows how to get to work. Dating profile, uh, looking at the CCTV. Um... That article there is, we can't click on it, but it says that the university will keep CCTV to a minimum. And she read about that. We'll put a pin in our hat about that one for now. Okay, so that's a browser history dealt with. What's in a private folder? Oh, she's an army vet. That explains the PTSD. She's an ex-soldier, that's worthy of in-depth research. We need to specifically know what kind of experience she has. And that there is the same icon that was on her uh, concerned one profile for the fort group, so that it was the symbol of her regiment. Of whatever it is, I couldn't tell you, but... Uh, did we go? There's a... Chat uh, with a friend. Again, we could, if all this information is here, and the only thing it highlights is that she just likes having a kid. So, that's fair enough. No wonder for a single mum. Yeah. Everything we found on Miss Matanova just shows a single mother trying to make ends meet for her son. Seems to be her primary motivation, and it's an admirable one at that, which does not mix well with <coughs> her ambitions. Uh, yeah. It's a picture of her kid, fair enough. Ah! Goldfells' email address. That is very, very, very handy to have. There we go. We'll upload this and as much information as we can get before our computer switches off. Uh, so she was in contact with Goldfells and... Um, assist each other with what? Before she... Ah, another blog post. Uh, talking about uh, publishing data, um, making mistakes. Data is like a minefield. That's fair enough. Okay, well, we've got his email address. That is very important. Do not read. Oh, I can't read, so 
I'm going to click on that and pretend those rules don't apply to me. Uh, so, I guess you disregarded this subject and went straight to this to reading this utterly embarrassing mail nonetheless. Me would, well don't tell me I didn't warn you. I've never written a text like this in my entire life, so I hope you'll be clement with me. Our backpacking trip along the Italian Northwest Coast has been okay. It's been amazing, brilliant, best one I've ever been on. Patented... Oh, she was in a relationship with Desmond Schwartz, so that explains the Molly Schwartz name. I'm not sure where Molly came from. But I guess that's why she binned this. Because she's no longer in a relationship with him. Fair enough. There's enough that's in that folder. Let's go back to the trash. Uh, application as a housekeeper. That's her personal phone number. No, that's Goldfels's profile. The links are really starting to spread out now, aren't they? There are really lots of people getting connected together in various interconnected webs. You see what I mean about all the red, the red string being with things connected together? That was me doing this with the evidence. It's the same when I played L.A. Noir for the first time. Right, so let's upload her personal phone number, because that's not a creepy thing to say. So we have that now. Application as a mechanic. Again, uh, thank you. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, requesting job application. A request on short notice. Would it be possible to take over the Freedom Plaza shift on April 11th and 12th from 4 to 8 p.m.? That's incriminating. She requested to be relocated to a job at one of the bombing sites. Well, it's only a request, but it connects her to the location. That makes two of the locations she's tied to. We'll have a very solid case so we can make that three of them. Hmm. No, that's everything that's on her computer for now. I think. Yes, it seems it. Okay, let's go back over here. We've got her army profile. We should probably take a look at this. Sergeant Nina Matanova. She was a combat engineer. Was a combat engineer. Hmm. That was her specialization. I mean, she's got experience with, I don't know, building things, I'm guessing, which is mm, suspicious. She's got a bravery medal. Come a long way from being such an honourable person. That's quite rude to say. You don't know what her life has been like. Dishonourable discharge and three months of confinement for being AWOL with voluntary return. Ah, that explains it. That's a severe punishment. Do you know this puts her on the same level as any other previously convicted felon? No, I did not. Why would I know that? Uh, we can look at the... Ah, we have a map now. Okay. So, Ustvakia, Parges, the nation, Gentry. We can look, literally, we can look at all of these if we wanted to go through all of them. And just read more info. It's... It's just so in-depth. Oh, hello. Tasked with infrastructure maintenance. That's a conflict. We'll come back to that. Oh, it's a good thing I started clicking through these. Because these are important bits to have. So, it's not actually clear where this game takes place. Like, where is the nation? It doesn't really say, but these other countries are made up. That almost looks like it could be Italy, but it's just been flipped around uh, and mirrored. But it also acknowledges that Germany exists in this universe, so I'm not entirely sure. That does look like Italy, though, so mm. leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I mean, we can even look at the memorial page if we want to. Uh, and all these people. Again, this is just law and information. So we know that's conflicting with something on... Uh, which one was it? It was that one. No, it wasn't. It was that one. There we go. First Combat Engineer Battalion partially tasked with infrastructure maintenance. And we don't know what that's conflicting with at the moment. Hmm. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. 
we do have her... Is there anything else to upload on this page? It says there is, but... No, I think that's everything. Or did I scroll through something and miss something here? No, I don't think I did, or it will be highlighting it. What am I missing? I'm missing something. I'll come back when I spot it. Ah, oh, there we go. Tasked with mine clearance. That's for conflict. There, there we go. Infrastructure maintenance. Or mine clearance. I can't remember what happens next. Depending on which one we upload. I genuinely can't remember. Um, so this was... A peacekeeping mission. Which is slang for something else. I will not say. Uh, show conflicts, infrastructure maintenance in uh, during a flood aid mission. Oh, I can't remember which one we upload. Um, I'm going to flip a coin for it. Hang on. We'll put this one in. There's nothing noteworthy here. We now know enough on Miss Masanova's background. Do we? Uh, someone's getting a phone call. Oh, Sylvia again. Yes? Hey again, Nina. Sylvia, how's it going? You feeling better? Yeah, somewhat. Finally after spending the whole last week in bed. Oh good, I can still bring Michael around though. Do you want- no, no thanks. I'm gonna pick him up in an hour or so. Would that be okay? There's a conflict there. We'll leave that in a moment. Yeah, of course. I promised to go to the playground with him. That's fine. I'll pick Michael up from the corner. It's a orchard drive, wasn't it? Great, thanks. See you in an hour. Ah, uh, okay. We'll bob that in. That might play a role later. So that's conflicting with something. Saying she spent the past week sick in bed, but we know she's been working. So, an employer just rated you. Fresh email. Click here to view the review. Ah. She was there at the mall. On the day. Yesterday, in fact when we found the previous device. <sighs> Every time the music sting comes in like that, and I read this information again, even though I've seen it before countless times, because li literally I've, I've got, um, gosh, this game is about five and a bit hours playtime, and I've got maybe 30 or so plus hours of playtime on this game on Steam. I've played it a lot because I loved it. Like I say, I haven't played it for several years, so I'm seeing this fresh, like literally for the first time in like four years. I still vaguely remember the story and what was going on, but every time that music sting comes in and you get the conflicting information like that and it pops up and you read it and it's another twist, I get the chills every time. I really, really do. I'm engrossed in this story so, so much. She worked the mall on the day of the assault. That's going to be the conflict for spending the last week in bed. She was lying to her friend. She worked the day. We need to upload that in. She was at all. She was at all three locations. She even worked there at the right time. We've now been able to associate her with every bombing location. Her whereabouts are hereby clarified. Things are not looking good. Oh dear. That's it. You found all we need to know. Let's see. Miss Matanova simply engaged in maintenance task in the military. That doesn't seem very notable. Ah, if I had uploaded the mine clearance thing, that her expertise with explosives. Maybe it's a good thing I didn't upload that one because they don't consider her super dangerous because I believe she can get shot and killed. Everything highlights that she's a single mother struggling and worrying about her child. And finally, we could associate her with every single bombing location and prove she was present at the correct time of one. 
Though the other information seems harmless, her connection with the bombing sites is remarkable and we can't ignore it. I need a moment to talk to my superiors, I'll get back to you soon. Keep observing her for activity. Okay. And not much else I can do. Oh. Uh, her browser history updated. She's just viewed and her device has just gone offline as I look at it. Balls. Well, it's a good thing we got that email address when we could. Talking to Initiate again. Hey, are you there? For you? Always. Ha ha. Great. I just came home. Come on, type faster, love. I'd left my PC switched on this morning and just tried to look something up online and suddenly it went haywire. And my security app popped up with like a million warnings of some outside intrusion. Hey, that was not me. That's why I messaged you. You promised to help. Hmm. And help I will. Don't touch that system. Just pull the plug. I did that immediately. Good girl. Creepy. Okay, here's what I think. You won't like it. I think the cops are after you. What? How would he know that? Uh, I hate to say I told you the cops did figure out the mall thingy, now they're coming for you. I did not find out much yet, but they're trying some new surveillance program capable of intrusion. That's probably what's been happening to your PC. Oh, all hell. Fuck this. Initiate knows. He knows, doesn't he? I need to get out of here before the cops are here. Sorry. Ah. That th if we upload that, it thinks she's a current fugitive. Why did the device go offline? Tell me what's going on. I think I think I have to upload that. I've got nothing else. He's got nothing else to go on. I have to tell him. And now the storms have come in. It's starting to thunder. She's what? We cannot let our main suspect escape. I will assemble an intervention team immediately. Start creating roadblocks. Inform the intervention team that they should move in aggressively. As you found out, she might react violently. Um, right, this is where it's going to get a little bit intense and it's going to be fast. There are a few possible things which can happen at this moment in time. The police are after her. We know that as much. They don't think she's as dangerous as she possibly could be because we didn't tell them that she has expertise in dealing with explosives, but they know about her PTSD and that she could be violent, as he is reacting to here. Since her PC has just gone offline, we should start at her home. Thankfully, we already know her address. Go through her communications. Maybe she will hint at places she goes when she isn't at home. We know she's going to go pick up her kid. Forward anything of importance to me at once, I'll brief the intervention team accordingly. It's in your hands now. Good luck and stay vigilant. Yeah, this is where it's going to get fast. Nina is calling Juliet. This is going to get dicey. Welcome to Rosentech. You... Oh, hey Juliet, thank god you're working right now. I called your mobile but couldn't get a hold of you. Can we talk? Nina, I'm all alone here, catching up on work. Is everything okay? Listen, I don't have much time. There is this psycho coming for me. He's been stalking me for days. Qu what do you mean, psycho? I can't explain it right now. Will you help me? Of course, but how? Do you know somewhere safe that my son and I can lay low for a while? Uh, I don't know. Come on, Juliet, you've got to think. What's going on here? This is just updated. Oh, I'll come back to that in a minute. I think I know a place in the middle of nowhere. It's the home... No, wait, don't say it. I think he might be listening. What? How? There was this hacker guy who reached out. He found out that someone is probably stealing my info and wiretapping my calls. Are you kidding me? You mean, like, maybe listening right now? Yes, I am. Hooey! Just don't say anything that will give my location away, okay? You're better safe than sorry. Just help me get out of here. Jesus, Dean, a bit late for that now. Now he knows where I work. I already knew that, love. Sorry, okay. Let's get you out of here. Thank you. Give me a sec. Just gonna pack some stuff. What sort of stuff? I'm bringing my gun. Oh. Do we tell them that she's up? Do we tell them that she's armed? You're looking to take yourself killed if someone's listening to this. They know you're armed and dangerous. Yeah, and if I don't bring protection, I'm going to be dead anyway. We can tell if we don't. 
I think if we tell them someone's at the door. Ah, they know they, the police have turned up. I'm gonna go out the back. No, I can tell them that she's going out the back. Please be careful. I'm not gonna tell them that she's armed. See if we can get her to be arrested peacefully. Everything all right? No, they've got her. Oh, damn it. Nina? Okay, I made it out the window and climbed down. He was busy searching around the back of the building. Ah, she's responded. Oh, you gave me a heart attack. Sit tight, I'll work out how to get you out of town. Juliet, I've got to do something important first. I've got to pick up my son. I can't leave him behind. Where? Oh, no, don't say it. Just go for it. We've already told him where it is. It's raining like hell. I can barely see 10 feet in front of you. I can slip away. The team is going to go intercept. Won't be long. I'm on the move. As to if you tell them that she's armed with her gun, they will shoot her on sight, if memory serves me correctly. Alternatively, you don't tell them anything and you can let her escape. I think if we don't tell them that she's armed, they will just arrest her. Nina, who is this guy? Why tapping your calls? Really? You can tell me. It's okay. I... I might have fucked up. I mean, look, you don't need to know who is after me. There's no reason you aren't doing anything illegal by helping me. And I want to keep you safe. Sorry, this is getting to me. It's okay, Nina. Almost there. And the police are going to be there because we told them. Alright, I'm here. I'll put my phone... Oh, shit. What? What is it? That guy is in front of the house. How did he know where I was going? We didn't say anything. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Nina? Fuck, 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 fuck. Nina? What? Forget about him. No fucking way. Leave him. He's going to be fine. Never. I'm not leaving him. I'm going in. Don't do it, please. It's not going to end well. It's worth it. Nina, what the hell are you doing? Not going down without a fight, that's what. Oh. I think they still... I think they... It doesn't matter if we... You're not gonna... Uh, never mind. It didn't matter if we told her if they were armed or not. I lost connection to the officers at the scene. What the... I need my connection back. Now. Oh, finally. Looks like we're successful, however our targets... She didn't make it. <sighs> I think because we uploaded information about the PTSD, they still considered her dangerous. Hmm. I was trying to play it so she would just get arrested, rather than shot. So it wouldn't have made a difference if we told her she was armed or not. I think if we told them that she was armed, they'd just storm and break into the house and kick down the front door and arrest her there instead. There is... Ow, that was my finger. There are a few possible ways of going about it. You can just not tell them anything, and you can let her escape, and then she will come back into the story later on. Uh, or you can get her arrested, and she will liaise with Cassandra in prison, or um, the... Um, What's the, the Ministry of Love, uh, I suppose, which is where she's being, uh, would be held if we're sticking with a 1984 theme. Or, um, yeah, she, she dies. She gets shot by the police. Damn, she didn't make it. There was a shootout. After the first shots, the team returned fire. I told him to go in aggressively. I thought it was the right thing to do. Yes, well, you were only acting off the information I gave you, and I was trying not to do that. I didn't want this to happen. Neither did I. Ah, <sighs> shit. She was our main suspect too. Who is writing at the worst possible time? I just want to be done with this horrible day. Can you check the mail, please? Yeah, sure. What's... Oh. It's from Goldfells. Again. I just got chills. I just got chills. Nina. 
I am truly sorry for having drawn the investigator's attention to you, but to be frank, you overstepped the boundaries of our agreement. The bombs were meant as a warning to those who are indifferent. A beacon of remembrance to our message that the forts must always be free. They were not meant to kill. Once again, you disappoint me with your unsurmountable hatred and rage. Consider our agreement void, Abraham Goldfels. So he's reappeared. I'm just going to bring that back in. Because he went MIA. Harrison and Jules were talking about how he disappeared. Hmm. I'm going to add that in. Oh. My. God. I can't believe you just found this. Can... Can you? They worked together on this madness, but what I still don't get it. This changes everything. We must find Abraham Goldfells tomorrow. Or in your case, next week. It's going to be in probably about 20 minutes for me, but... Before we'll need some rest, it has been one hell of a day. You may log out now. I'm just going to quickly upload this as well. He didn't mean to kill with the bombs. Do you honestly believe that after all you have seen? Hmm... No, I don't, but... It got you to react to it, didn't it? Uh... Hmm. I think we've got everything we can for this day. I don't think there's much else we can add in, is there? Is there anything on the news page? No. I think we've got everything there. And Nina's PC is now offline. Yeah, well, we knew that. Right, I'm going to log off of Orwell then. All unprocessed age chunks will expire. There we go. Our summary for day three. A lot of bits and pieces there. Let's go through it. Uh, the mall was saved from a bomb attack. The last remaining member of Fort, Nina Matanova, needed to be investigated. And she was. She was a soldier who had been engaged in engineering, able to associate her with every location of the bombings. She decided to flee, we sent an intervention team after her. She appears to be mainly centred around her son and taking care of him. She was killed when she offered resistance to the intervention team trying to arrest her. Which was our fault. Juliet Carrington hinted at having a bad start into the year, had a troubled relationship with her parents, has even, excuse me. Abraham Goldfels allegedly motivated Nina Matanova to commit the Bonson bombings, but he didn't intend them to kill people. Harrison O'Donnell has condemned the bombings and said he only predicted, in inverted commas, the bombings to sell his point. And initiates are unknown mystery hacker. He's been in contact with two target persons, so an investigation into him has been authorised. Again, the plot thickens and twists at the end of the day too. Abraham Goldfells has reappeared. We did get Nina killed, unfortunately. And we also need to investigate this initiate hacker character some more. We will do that all in the next chapter. Thank you very much for joining me today on this latest episode of Orwell keeping an eye on you. It has been an absolute pleasure for your company today. Please leave your thoughts, theories, and what you think is going to happen next in the comment section and down below. As always, like the video if you did, subscribe for more, and all being well, I'll see you again sometime very soon. Take care, stay safe, and ta for now. Goodbye.